The cycles between the release of new and improved versions of hardware and software are constantly shrinking, making it a challenge to stay on top of the latest technology. Design firms have limited time and resources to invest in information technology purchases, but they also face the risk of falling behind the competition if they do not do enough to keep pace with rapidly evolving information technology. To make a sound decision about the technologies in which you and your firm should invest, it is helpful to place the myriad of systems and software into context. We'll cover base technologies first. These are technologies a firm must master to compete effectively in its chosen market service area. Your staff must have strong skills in these areas to be competent with the other technologies you'll need to use in the future. These technologies are necessary to do business but are not sufficient to achieve a competitive advantage. That is, they are expected to be used by all firms. Widely known and readily available. For example, word processing, CAD, spreadsheets, email, etc. Easily acquired by your competitors. Of little marketing value. No different from commodity products. Generally speaking, base technologies are those that small firms invest in, and the vast majority of design and construction firms, regardless of size, usually overinvest in them. As a general guide, about 40% of your technology budget should go towards maintaining this base technology, both in systems and in staff skills. Key technologies is next. These technologies should provide competitive advantages. They permit a firm to attain greater work efficiencies, allow a firm to get into markets that other firms cannot, are less widely used, require a higher level of sophistication to use well. While base technologies tend to be viewed as expected and usually get classified as overhead, key technologies are ones that certain clients may include as pre-qualifications in their RFPs and RFQs and are probably willing to pay additionally for. If planned, implemented, and managed properly, these technologies should provide a firm with competitive differentiators that can improve performance and profitability. If planned, implemented, and managed improperly, however, these technologies can waste both time and money, damaging the firm's performance. As a rule of thumb, about 45% of your technology budget should go towards developing and utilizing key technology, both in systems and in staff skills. Next is pacing technologies. These could become tomorrow's key technologies. They have several unique characteristics. They may be cutting edge or experimental, are often higher risk investments, are often part of an R&D effort, may be too expensive for many, particularly smaller, firms. As a general guide, about 15% of your technology budget should be invested in pacing technologies. This will help to form a core R&D effort focused on identifying and exploiting progressive technologies the firm will need in order to maintain or increase its competitive strength in two or three years down the road. By placing each technology purchase or maintenance budget into one of these three categories, the firm is looking strategically at the use of these technologies. Each firm's situation will be different, but the process should be the same. Make sure you understand exactly why you are acquiring each new or upgraded technology.